Well, ever dream about publishing your own book on a topic of your choice? Well, it can become a reality. Self-publishing in stilettos is a new guide that helps women who are interested in that self-publishing. Joining us now with more information is the author, really the, the mastermind behind what will be a series. This is Cinnamon McCann. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. So this is the way that the book looks. It looks very nice. That was the choice. I yeah. wanted it to be very girly. I like it very much. <laughs> now, tell us about the whole stiletto hook. Well, the stiletto, I love shoes. You rock these stilettos there we today. Go. There, there you we go. go. All right. Um, <laughs> I love shoes. I'm a shoe girl. And okay. I think the main thing about stilettos or high heels is that when a woman wears them, it makes you feel confident mm -hmm. and makes you stand up straight and feel good about yourself. And I wanted to transition that same type of confidence in a variety of different nonfiction books. Your, yours is a journey with not without its uh, winding yeah. turns and what could have been roadblocks but you're here. Can you tell us a, a bit about your path? Sure. I've been an entrepreneur for majority of my adult career. And, you know, with being an entrepreneur, you have your ups, you have your downs. And I think with the economy changing, my background was in real estate and with finance. Mm -hmm. And that made it that I experienced the downturn of the economy sure. much sooner than everyone else. So what happened was I took that personally. Um, when things started going wrong with my business, I really just went into a huge depression. Mm -hmm. And from that is kind of where the creativity came from. Um, and that's all I had. All I had was the ability to write. I didn't have anything else. I wasn't making money. I had more time on my hand than I needed. <laughs> um, so that's kind of where it came about. And it was some very long nights, long days, but it came to an end right. and got back on my feet and was ready to do it. And that's actually where the idea came from. I have a um, book that I'm working on coming out later this year and it has Paula Dean and Barbara Corcoran and a bunch of other amazing women and that was really the the push for it mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted to self-publish that book so I didn't know how to start and you know with technology there's so many different oh, options yeah. out there it gets really confusing and I needed a guide that was a little bit more concise and so it didn't exist so I said let's go ahead and Let create it real it. quick <laughs> and, and, I, and I want to just uh, sort of lean on this other franchise that you know it's the dummies franchise you know a dummies guide to playing the guitar or a dummies guide right. to real estate or whatever right. so think that when you see the stiletto uh, guide to different topics because there will be different topics this is, this is the first one so let's talk about how do you get your work published you have uh, passed along some tips first you say finish your manuscript how many of us are writing a book well finish it yes and, and and it sounds like duh but actually tons of people have manuscripts stuck on their computer from years ago mm -hmm. they haven't gotten it out one of the things that helped me is that I used a tape recorder to kind of tape record my thoughts that helps a lot because when you sit in front of a computer and you're trying to type sometimes it becomes a little overwhelming and so the tape recorder helped a bunch you get that transcribed and now you have actually document that you can kind of start start to edit and feel a little bit more comfortable with so finishing the manuscript of course is the first thing also you want to go to amazon.com or your local retail bookstore because you want to look at your competition see what page numbers they have price retail price you want to be in line with your competition you don't want to make a book that's a hundred pages less than your competition or you know twenty dollars more than your competition right. you want to make, make too much sense um, you definitely want to start operating like a business mm -hmm. you're not a writer anymore you're a publisher so now you have to file the necessary paperwork with your state you have to do your necessary bookkeeping and, and really concentrate as though you're a business um, more importantly protect yourself we've heard about copyright people pretty much know that that's the standard but you're going to be transferring your document to a variety of different vendors meaning um, editors proofreaders graphic design artists so you might want to look at your contracts and make sure that there's a confidentiality agreement on there because you would hate your manuscript right. to kind of be out there. Sticky fingers. And the last Absolutely. one is ask for help. Yes. And as women, we're really bad at that. Right. Because <laughs> we can do it. We've got mm -hmm. it. Don't worry about it. We can it. do it. <laughs> um, so this is the first. This is the self-publishing in Stilettos, a woman's guide to publishing with confidence. I wish you continued success. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. And um, you can get all this information on our website, myfoxdc.com.